veterans, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning and welcome. My name is Gareth McRae and I'll be your master of ceremonies for today's Vietnam Veterans Memorial Service, which commemorates the 54th anniversary of the Battle of Long Tan in Vietnam on the 18th of August, 1966. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the mounting of the Catafalque Party. Mount the Catafalque. I welcome Chaplain Ivan Grant from the Australian Army, who will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, be with us this morning as we gather to pay tribute to those who have been involved in our nation's battles. We particularly remember and give you thanks for those who served in the Vietnam War for those who paid the supreme sacrifice, and for those who were prepared to do so, for those whom the memory of their involvement still causes pain and anxiety, and for the families and friends who support and love them through these difficult times. We commend those who died fighting for their nation to the mercy and love of God and the peace and light of Christ, who gave his life that we might live. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much, Chaplain. Ladies and gentlemen, Her Excellency, the Honourable Margaret Beasley, Governor of New South Wales, will now deliver the commemorative address. Vietnam veterans, representatives of veterans groups, and ladies and gentlemen, I too pay my respects to the Gadigal of the Eora Nation and their elders and their service men and women past and present. The day chosen to commemorate Vietnam Veterans Day, as we know, is the anniversary of the Battle of Long Tan, fought 54 years ago today. That battle epitomised the nature of the war that was being fought. Lieutenant Colonel Harry Smith, D Company Commander of 6th Battalion of the Royal Australian Regiment, received a military cross for his service at Long Tan. He reflected upon that battle in these words. Like the errors of Gallipoli, a proper assessment of intelligence reports would have averted my company being sent out to face a VC regiment. But we saved the task force base at Nguyen from what would have been a disastrous attack by the 5,000 strong VC 5th Division and their influence in the province was reduced thereafter. That is why Long Tan has become so significant and is voted as the icon of the war for all Vietnam veterans to commemorate those lost or maimed between 1962 and 1972. The Battle of Long Tan is rightfully etched in Australia's military history. The art of the historian is to analyse the past. The art of the war historian is to analyse the outcomes of battles and of wars. Such analyses have the benefit of hindsight, as they must, if the lessons of history and of war are to be learned. Our history here in Australia is to honour the individuals who fought the battles, regardless of the outcomes, to commemorate those who served in the wars. At least it was, and is so, with the veterans of the First and Second World Wars. Vietnam was different. 
Well before the war ended, the commentary of regret flashed across our television screens. Plain sight took hold before hindsight could play its part. Regardless of the view that is taken of that war, whether in foresight, plain sight, or in hindsight, these service personnel were doing their duty for Australia. They were not the policy makers. And the lack of recognition and support given to those who served in Vietnam when they came home is perhaps a version of the adage, kill the messenger. And we all know that that is simply wrong. And it has been the veterans of the Vietnam War who have most particularly made us understand that the impact of war does not stay on the battlefield. It is relived in the physical and psychological trauma that comes home with those who are engaged in the conflict. The veterans of the Vietnam War were those who most made us aware that ongoing support is as essential at home as weapons are on the battlefield. We are so proud of you, our Vietnam veterans, just as we are proud of all of our past and our present defence forces. And although it took too long for us as a society to recognise and understand the extent of your, your sacrifice and your contribution, the significance of your service, all of that, you, our Vietnam veterans, have made us a better society. And I thank you for that. And we honour your courage and your commitment we honour each and every one of you, lest we forget. Please, ladies and gentlemen, now stand for the laying of the official tribute by Her Excellency on behalf of the people of New South Wales, accompanied by Mr Dennis Wilson. During this time, you are invited to engage in silent contemplation. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please be seated. Mr Ray James, Acting President of the Returned and Services League of Australia, New South Wales branch. Mrs Diane Vogt, representing the War Guild, Widows Guild of New South Wales. And Mr Greg Raitt, President of Sydney Legacy. The Honourable Dr. Jeff Lee, representing the Premier of New South Wales. Mr. Greg Warren, MP, representing the New South Wales Opposition Leader. And Councillor Jess Scully, representing the Lord Mayor of Sydney. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the reciting of the ode by Mr. Ray James, RSL New South Wales Acting President. They went with songs to the battle. They were young, straight of limb, true of eye, steady and aglow. They were staunch to the end against odds uncounted. They fell with their faces to the foe. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Lest we forget.
Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the Australian National Anthem Advance Australia Fair, to be sung by Lance Corporal Amelia Johnson, accompanied by the Australian Army Band Sydney. And due to the COVID-19, we do request that all guests refrain from singing. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes today's Vietnam Veterans Memorial Day service. I'd like you to please show your appreciation for the members of the Australian Army and the Cenotaph attendants and flag orderlies who've supported today's service. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attendance.